Three Common Habits of Unhappy People Happiness can't be defined with one thing only. It has many different forms and can be within you in various ways, keeping you motivated, inspired, healthy, and elevated. However, unhappiness is easy to spot, and you can feel yourself getting trapped in its web with each thing. Studies show that being around happy people motivates you and gives you a sense of life with a longer lifespan. But being around unhappy people does the opposite for you. It becomes unhealthy and shortens your lifespan. Studies show that genetics and life problems contribute up to 50% of your happiness, while the rest of the 50% is up to you. So it's in the hands of people how they let their life circumstances get a hold of them. It becomes difficult for unhappy people to function because they lose hope, motivation, and inspiration to lead a healthy life. They indulge in unhealthy habits which take a toll on their relationships, jobs, and everything else. There are some very harmful habits of unhappy people which you should be aware of. If you or your loved ones are going through something like this, you should get some professional help or indulge in productive activities that elevate your mood. Let's take a look at the three common habits of unhappy people. You wait for the future. You wait for a specific time to be happy. You don't consider being happy in the present, but attach your happiness to the future with a thought, I'll be happy when this or that happens. Unhappy people attach themselves to life circumstances. For example, if I get into a relationship, I'll be happy. If I get that job, only then will I be happy. He attaches his happiness to something that will happen in the future. He becomes unable to live in the present moment. There is no guarantee of the future, so why waste your life, mood, and time on something which is yet to happen and not live in the present moment? You see yourself as a victim. Unhappy people often have thought that life is tough and everything is out of their control. With this thinking, you might feel helpless with no hope to make efforts to change the situation. It's okay to feel upset sometimes, but letting it take over your life entirely and changing your personality and outlook is not good. You need to understand that you have the control you think you don't, and you can shape your situation if you work for it. You think negatively about everything. You let one terrible thing affect you for the whole day, week, month, or years. Awful situations keep occurring with everyone, but happy people think that something more serious could have happened, so they're grateful that nothing worse than this happened. But unhappy people, on the other hand, believe that one bad thing that happened, now their whole day is going to be ruined, and they continue to think about that for everything that happens. Do you have any of these habits? Let us know what unhappiness makes you do in the comments, and don't forget to share this video.